Hello everyone, Quick Biochemistry Basics here. Let's see what happens in glycolysis. The term glycolysis means breaking down of sugar. Now to make things easy, CH3, CH2, CH and carbon atom are shown as a red dot. The hydrogen are shown around carbon atom only when they are involved in a reaction. The first step of glycolysis is the phosphorylation of glucose with ATP in presence of enzyme hexokinase to yield glucose 6-phosphate. In the next step, glucose 6-phosphate is converted into fructose 6-phosphate by the enzyme phosphohexoisomerase. Phosphofructokinase then phosphorylates fructose 6-phosphate to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate with the help of ATP. Then comes an enzyme aldolase which breaks down fructose 1,6-bisphosphate into two molecules. One molecule resembles the structure of acetone with two hydroxyl group and a phosphate, hence it is called dihydroxyacetone phosphate. The other molecule resembles the structure of glyceraldehyde and hence called glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Dihydroxyacetone phosphate can be converted into glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate by the enzyme triose phosphate isomerase. Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is then converted into 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate by the enzyme glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. During this step, NAD plus gets converted into NADH along with the addition of inorganic phosphate. In the next step, 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate donates its phosphate to ADP to form ATP and the enzyme involved in this reaction is phosphoglycerate kinase. 3-phosphoglycerate is then converted into 2-phosphoglycerate by the enzyme phosphoglycerate mutase. Enolase then carries out dehydration reaction to yield phosphoenol pyruvate. And finally, pyruvate kinase converts phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvate with the formation of ATP.